Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Tuambiani Ukweli. I am here again with another episode. Now, today I went for a date. Most of you know that I am a single guy. And as a single man, I meet people, potential, and I, I, I plan for dates. So there's this one time in the streets of social media, I met with a very fine lady, very eloquent, uh, very presentable and you know the conversation was flowing and things were going so nicely so what i did in the midst of us talking and all these things i decided to you know ask her out for a date she said yes so you know back and forth where are we going when are we going all these things now me as an old school fella i will do my best to make sure that everything goes well right I will tell you when, where we are going to meet, what time, and all these things. So it's up to you. It's up to you to show up since you said, uh, let's do this. So, see, the DD came. Iyo siku kijana kajingarisha kidogo, kajipoka marashi, kaenda kinyozi. Et al. The evening came. Went for, 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 for where we were supposed to meet. So, ni kaenda kwenye ilikuwa inafatu patane. I waited. I waited. I waited. But there was a bit of a misunderstanding somewhere. So she didn't show up. Let us move on. So when I was now going back home, um, now that is when this babes tells me, um, let me read you that text. So first of all, me, I don't have a problem with uh, taking care of the bills. I don't have a problem with that. Like, I'm the one who called you out for a date. So I should pay for it, you know, everything not not really everything everything but pay for for the date you understand and if you do the same if you are a lady and you call a guy out for a date like can we go out for this and this and that you should make sure that you pay for that date period right back to my story so in the midst of me asking why did you show up and all these things i came to find out that these babies expected me to how can i put it make sure that she gets to the date as well. Like pay for her cab, which she didn't mention. Okay, that was the misunderstanding. I didn't understand what she meant. But at the end of the day, she expected me to pay for her to come for the date. And I'm like, hold up, hold up. Allah, it, wait, hold up. Does it happen like that? How did, when did things change guys? As in, if I am asking you out for a date, I think, um, ni standards imereziwa. So ladies expect that all guys needs, need to be driving uh, in a four corner and a shagari or whatever. But in my in my vocabulary, I'm I'm from that point of view that if I call you out on a date, say tomorrow evening at 5 p.m., let's meet in town at this particular place, then it just makes sense that you show up. As in, okay, Missy Kuelewa. But now the problem is, the problem is, these babes was trying to make it, make it look like it is, it is my problem. Let me read for you the text. I will skim through it. It was a very long text. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And since you are the one who proposed about the meeting, I thought you were responsible of everything as a man. Like, wait, as a man? Kwani? Boy child, any guy who is out here and we're carrying the standards so high for these ladies to... Some of us, we are, we are trying to match up, but at is it? <laughs> anyway, ladies, listen, not everyone is driving. Not everyone has a car. Some of us still use public means and it's Simbaya, it's not a problem. Some of us still use cabs and Simbaya, it's not a problem. But um, try to calm down. Try to come down with these high expectations, especially if you've met, you've never met this person, it's the first time. Try to, I don't know, meet this person in the middle. Go out there and have a good time, meet people. If you are a single person and you really want to get into marriage, you really want to get into a relationship, take your time, meet people, go on dates. But don't, don't put caveats. If you don't, I won't. If you will, I shall. Like, beats the essence. So even though uh, at the end of the day, I will also insist that uh, you don't 
you don't lower your standards. If I as Kelvin has called you on a date and you expect me to come and pick you up in a in a, in a, in, a, in a Prado, don't lower your standards. Kama siwezani niambie niwezani nijipange. I go look for someone who can uh, jab with me. I'm sure we we'll find. And if you are a dude, do not you feel you feel diminished. Don't feel diminished because of what somebody else told you. If you have been in this for for quite some time, you 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 start you'll start um, gaining thick skin. Until mtu akikwambia kitu you're like ah, whatever, I'm moving on swiftly. So guys, don't allow anybody to make you feel less over because you don't have or because you didn't do. Kama mtu akona standards zake, aende atafute mtu mwenye watawezana na hizo standards. If you can't if I can't match up to what you expect then to move on with life. Yeah, so that has been me previously. It was quite eventful. It opened my eyes to a few things, but uh, we learn, we grow and we move on with life, right? See you on the next one.